different parts of the plants and their different functions. On the screen here, you have um, one of these very important parts, and that is the roots. And we know that it functions to anchor a plant to a substrate. When you say substrate, that means an underlying layer, okay? Underlying substance or underlying layer. Now, sometimes a substrate can be soil. It can also be a tree trunk or a rock, okay? For example, here you have your orchid. And we call your orchids air plants, okay? Because they're not actually anchored to soil. Another function of your roots is for absor absorption of water and nutrients. And of course, one very important part of your roots here that would help in your absorption would be the root hairs, okay? The root hairs would help, help increase the surface area of the roots. In your picture here, these tiny fibers, there is this tiny, tiny hair that you have in the root, the, these are called the root hairs, okay? So when the root hairs help increase the surface area of the roots. All right, now there are three types of roots. Okay, you can see them in your screen. The first one is the tap root. When you say tap root, there is a thick main root from which smaller roots would extend. One example for this would be your carrot. Okay, so carrot there, the one which you actually eat, that's an example of a tap root. Now, another type of root is your fibrous roots, and these types of roots prevent erosion. Okay, so this is an example of your fibrous root system. You can find this in your monocots, like your corn, rice, sugarcane, okay, um, even um, banana and um, some other monocots that you have. Okay, so again, fibrous root system, these are the types of root that would prevent erosion. And the last type of root is called the prop roots. Okay, your prop roots extend above the soil to prop out the plant. Okay, so this is an example of your prop root. As you can see, they are seen above the ground. Okay, these are the types of roots that can be seen above the ground because their function is to prop out the plant. That means to support the plant. So these are the three types of root that we have. Tap root system, you have a thick main root and you have smaller roots that extend from it. Fibrous root system, there, there is no tap root, there is no main root, but this type of root would prevent erosion. Then of course you have your prop roots and these are the types of roots that would extend above the ground because their function is to support your plant. Okay, so those are your roots. Now, another part of a plant that is very important, of course, is the stem. Now, we've already mentioned some uh, functions of the stem last week. We said it supports the upper, uh, the upper part of the plant. So say your leaves, the flowers, all the rest of the upper portion of the plant, they are supported by the stem. It also functions more importantly to transport materials, okay? So to transport materials from the roots to your leaves and vice versa, you'd use the stem. Now, another thing is that it grows toward the sun because of course your leaves are uh, going to be needing the sun's light for photosynthesis and so your stem grows towards the sun that's or these are the functions of the stem now there are some specialized stems that we have you can see them in your slide okay the first two specialized stems that we have here are your potato tuber and also your ginger rhizome and these are the types of stems that actually store food Okay, so these are specialized stems because they're not only supporting the, the, the upper parts of your plant, they are not only for the transport of materials, but they're also storing food. Okay, their also function is as food storage. So again, the one that you eat in your potato, that is actually a stem. Okay, so if you see the eyes of the potato there, those eyes are actually the nodes. Remember, you have two types or two parts of your stem, the nodes where you find your leaves, and of course, the inner node, which is the area between two nodes. Okay, so your potato plant here, the eyes that you see are actually the nodes of that specialized stem. Now, you also have your ginger rhizome. Again, ginger rhizome is also a specialized stem. And this is a type of stem that also stores food. Okay, so this is also uh, the ginger root that we eat or we, we use for cooking. Now, another type of specialized stem are your strawberry stolons. Okay, and these are used for propagation. That means you can just cut this. You can cut this tollen or this specialized stem, and you can use that to grow another strawberry plant. Okay, so these are uh, your strawberry stolons. And the last specialized stem that we have on the slide here are the stems of your cactus. Okay, they are called specialized stems because they don't only function for uh, the transport of materials, 
or even storage of food, but they are very succulent and they're full of water and um, because their function is to store water. Okay, so this is the specialized stem of your cactus. So your the big part of your cactus there, the big green part that is not the leaves, okay, that's not the leaves, that's actually the stem. The leaf, uh, the leaves of your cactus are actually the thorns that you find here. Okay, so the leaves are very small. They're just functioning for protection. Okay, they're called the thorns. This big chunk, big green chunk here that you see is not actually the leaves. These are the stems. Okay, so those are some specialized stems that you have. Now we go to the next slide. The last part of the plant that we are going to study, of course, would be the leaves. Very importantly, this is the site of photosynthesis. This is where photosynthesis would happen. Your leaves also have stomata or pores for gas exchange and reduction of water loss, okay? So as you can see here in the picture, this is an example of your stoma. Stoma would be singular, plural form would be stomata, okay? So these are pores found in the leaves of the plants and their function is for gas exchange, the entry of carbon dioxide, the exit of oxygen gas, and of course they also help reduce water, okay? Uh, or water loss. Now number three, You've also learned about the cuticle last week. And we said cuticle also reduces water loss or transpiration, okay? So cuticle is a waxy layer that you find on the leaves and their function is to reduce transpiration or the loss of water through the leaves. Okay, now if you're looking at your stomata, your stomata is actually the pore that you, you see inside here the hole that you find in the leaves of the plants, and it is surrounded by a pair of guard cells, okay? So you call this um, bean-shaped cells your guard cells. Now it says here, your stomata becomes smaller if a plant needs to reduce the amount of water being lost by transpiration, okay? So if water loss needs to be reduced, then your guard cells would close. Okay, your, your guard cells would move closer and in turn, they are going to close the stomach. 